Walt Disney once said that all our dreams can come true if we have the courage to pursue them. Good morning, lady and gentlemen of Mr. Redkin's advanced debate class. Today I'll be negating the resolution resolved that the American dream is impractical. Now, let me clarify the idea of the American dream for you. The American dream, the belief that through hard work one can achieve success, was prominent throughout the history of our country. It not only helped people persevere through times of hardship, but in some cases pushed them into great accomplishment. Today I'm not here to tell you that someday you'll become a billionaire, or, nor am I here to tell you that you will not. What, am I, what I am here to argue, however, is that by no means is the American dream impractical, which is defined by dictionary.com as not practical or useful. I'll exact this through the following values. It is a source of motivation and it is part of human nature. Contention 1. The American dream, or dreams in general, are the source of motivation. As previously stated, the American dream is the belief that with hard work comes success. Now ask yourselves this. As students, what inspires you to make an effort? What is the driving force behind all of your hard work in school? What incentive do you have to endure the pain and stress that is required to achieve a satisfactory report card? I'm confident that the answer has already popped up in your mind. Your desire for a career in medicine. Or your wish to become a lawyer. Your aims to support a family. Or your yearning for happiness. Your dreams. The American dream lives within all of us. We search for bright futures, or in some cases, fear unsatisfactory ones. Just think about it like a game of basketball. If the players have no basket to shoot at, will they be motivated to play? Of course not. As an effort to stir my own motivation, my mother once showed me a slideshow of poverty-stricken children in China. <laughs> Disregarding the fact that they had barely any clothes to cover their backs or food to fill their stomachs, these children worked diligently to further their studies using deteriorating pencils and paper. Why, despite these atrocious conditions, do they continue working? This is because they desperately desire to better their conditions, the definition of the American dream. Dreams, or more specifically, the American dream, keep people going. Humans, human beings seek results, which is why, contrary to my opponent's belief, the American dream does have a purpose. Contention 2. The American dream is a part of human nature. President Snow from the Hunger Games once said, Hope is the only thing stronger than fear. In times of difficulty and distress, hope serves as a beacon of light, leading us back to times of happiness. It is our aspirations and dreams that give us this hope, that make us human. Without them, we are merely walking corpses who, while bi biologically alive, are spiritually dead. Just think about it. After receiving a subpar score on a test, does one give up and say, well, so much for trying, I'll be sure to pick up a McDonald's application on the way home from school? <laughs> Absolutely not. He or she brushes he or she brushes a small blemish off and prepares more thoroughly for the next opportunity to succeed. It is those people who give up their dreams, who lose faith in the American dream, that end up living depressing, desolate lives, which is exactly for what my opponent is mistakenly advocating. In conclusion, I encourage you to rebuke the idea that the American dream is impractical. Because it is a source of motivation and a part of human nature, the resolution is blatantly incorrect. Don't fear rejection, dream of perfection. Vote negative. Thank you. That was powerful.